Whether you know it by the 626 or the SGV, the San Gabriel Valley is one of LA's most unrecognized communities. Sprawling over 31 cities with more than 2 million people, or one-fifth of LA County's population, this region is incredibly diverse and offers something for just about everybody. From where to live across the valley, to where to grab the best vegan food in Baldwin Park, to where to get some nature therapy that we can all really use right now. Let's explore this place together. Welcome to the neighborhood. biggest things about the San Gabriel Valley and specifically areas like Monrovia and Sierra Madre is the access to nature. We're right here at the base of the Angeles National Forest which is just about 700,000 acres of protected land that is perfect to take the family out camping and hiking. Another sick thing in the area is the Angeles Crest Highway. This is ideal for motorcycle riders that want to test their skills in drag city. <laughs> Despite the suburban vibes, one of the sickest things about the San Gabriel Valley is access to public transportation. There are six metro stops in the SGV, and we're here at the Cruz Baca Transportation Center in Baldwin Park. This is the San Bernardino line, and it'll get you all the way from Union Station to the Inland Empire for just 10 bucks. This is a killer way to explore the area and an awesome way to save some money on gas. Gardunos, right on the corner of Vineland and Pacific in the heart of Baldwin Park. While they cater to more than just vegans, their plant-based dishes are arguably their best-selling items. Let's go check it out. We're here with head chef, owner, operator, Jose Mejia of Gardenias. My man, what's the best thing that we can order? I'd recommend the vegan chili cheese fries. Uh, we make our own cashew-based nacho cheese. It's super creamy. Our vegan chili is really good also. It's your go trip out. You'll, you won't believe it's not beef. Also recommend our vegan tamales. When we barely started selling them, a lot of people would call and complain seeing that we gave them chicken, but uh, we only made vegan tamales, so it was just jack for you know, it was just, uh, it's really realistic. It sounds so fire. Y'all heard it, plant-based chicken that tastes like the real thing. Can we order some? Let's go for it. Let's get it. All right, brother, so what do we got here? So right here we have our vegan cheese and jalapeno tamal and our vegan chili cheese fries. Yo, this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. Is yours really hot? You just burn yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Prices are across the board in the San Gabriel Valley. We're here in Baldwin Park where you can get a two bedroom, one bath condo for a little bit more than 300,000, all the way to more than 2,000 square feet for about 700K. We're here on Big Dalton where we just sold this home for a little bit more than 550K. This is a killer deal to get into the market, especially as house prices continue to explode in Southern California. On the flip side, if we travel Northwest, Average Arcadia home is going for a little bit more than one and a half million dollars. It isn't uncommon to see houses in excess of five, six, and seven million dollars in this community as well. What makes it so sick is that we are legit only about 20 minutes from downtown LA and a quick drive to the Angeles National Forest. The San Gabriel Valley is so sick for so many reasons. Here at the Glendora Public Market. This is one of the San Gabriel Valley's newest eateries, and this is a killer spot to come when you're with a group because all the homies can find something they like. On top of that, they have beer at Smog City Brewing. What I want to show you is Bolo. They are famous for their buttery buns and ice cream sandos. Let's go grab one. From your starter house to your forever home, the San Gabriel Valley offers a diversity of price points for all different kinds of buyers. And with access to public transportation and so many great places to eat, with the mountains in the background, it really doesn't get much better. Come check out the 626. Welcome to the neighborhood.